It was too short of a commercial break. David Buckner is here, our old friend. Um, and I asked him to come in and talk about hyperinflation. It is a real threat to our um, economy. And uh, David's a guy who, how long, you've been on the road for how long now? Three years, but the last, <laughs> I've been six months since I've been back here in New York. Okay. So time. you've been going around all over the world. And I wanted to ask you about hyperinflation. You and I had dinner the other night, and I said to you, David, how many times does print... Uh, um, how many once you go over there because they're yelling at me about your light? Um, how, how, often, how often in the past has printing or digitizing money worked? Uh, it's never worked, but what we've looked at is we've looked at, uh, everybody turns to the three biggies, which is like uh, you've got Weimar Republic, you've got uh, Zimbabwe, you've got uh, Bolivia. You look at all those times where they've really done a lot of this printing, mm -hmm. and they look at all those and say, Americans, that can't happen here. Because there's a specific kind of layering that has to occur. In America, they say clearly it doesn't fall into that. So here's what they say re is required for hyperinf hyperinflation. Okay, so now you're telling me this, the, the next this is the recipe. Six thing. This is the, rep this is the recipe, recipe for hyperinflation. For hyperinflation. And they say these things will never happen. And they say there's two or three things that will never happen in America, which okay, I find really me. fascinating. Show well, the first thing they say is for hyperinflation to occur, there has to be an implosion, an economic implosion. Now, okay, that can happen. That's happened. Yeah. Okay. Number two, there has to be a collapse in tax revenues. So we're not collecting as much. That can absolutely Absolutely happen. true. So what does government do? Government tries to raise taxes. That will which happen. Which they've done. Yep. And then the next step is lenders start thinking, wow, you're not even able to cover your bills. So what we have to do is figure out a way in which we're going to step out of the game. Lenders okay. don't want to lend as much. David, we're doing all of these. China's already said that. Yeah, exactly. So you see where they say Americans... This can't happen here. There are really three things they say can't happen. I'll give you the last one here, which is really the step, the final step. We have to choose between austerity or printing. Okay. So wait a minute. So, so these four, are the steps to hyperinflation. Well, all of these have happened. Yeah. But they say Americans, there's three things that can't happen. Okay. What are they? Number one, everyone wants to buy our debt, they say. And well, no then, one will ever stop wanting to buy our debt. But they already have. I know. I know. That's the point. Okay. In fact, in China's buying of our debt, they're shifting it quickly to gold, as we well know. Okay? Okay. So the step number one, the second step they say is that even though you've got the debt, we're not printing money. But we yeah, 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 yeah. But here, the way in which they suggest that your, Americans don't print money is we're exchanging an asset, a bond, for cash. What they're not saying is that where's that bond coming from? Treasuries. As soon as the government puts it out there, the Fed comes and takes it. It's circular. It's absolutely circular. Right. So we are printing money. We are putting double the cash into the economy because when the president is out here saying, you know what, I'll sell you the bond, you give me your cash, no new money's in the economy because the president's the one spending your money. But when the Fed stands over here and says, you give me that piece of paper, I'll give you printed money that the president printed, I'll give you that money, I've now doubled the amount of cash in the economy. But because this is hidden behind a secondary market, the Fed is not buying from the president. The Fed's buying from someone who bought from the president. So that secondary market hides, obscures the fact that we're actually printing money. Right. So, but so it doesn't, that's number two. It doesn't matter. No. We've done it. We're, we've done it. Okay. And, and number three is they say America is productive. No one will ever allow us to default. I disagree. Not only do I disagree, I've been there. 26 countries in the last year, and not one of them can identify what America produces. What do we produce? You could talk about Apple, yeah. but guess what? Apple actually manufactures in Manila. Apple manufactures in China. Apple manufactures elsewhere. We produce financial instruments. Well, that really did us quite well, right? Yeah. The financial. What do we produce? Nothing. We don't. Even innovation, and I work with technology companies that talk about innovation, even that is being outsourced to yeah. really bright, intelligent people in India and Brazil and other places. Mm -hmm. So technically, what do we produce? Nothing. We don't. We don't produce. All the innovation you've talked about, we don't produce. So the three things that they say that could never occur in America, causing hyperinflation to never, never be a part of our economy, are not true. Number one. It is with all candor that people don't want our debt. In fact, China is going, sure, you're, you're the biggest guy in the restaurant, and I know i got to be the chef, and then you're borrowing from me to, to pay me back. But candidly, i got somebody else who just walked through the door, and they're willing to actually pay for their own. It's called India. So I'm not sure I really have to lend you money to buy my food. 
So the debt is not as appealing, and they're flipping it so fast to where China is going to replace the IMF and Germany, only second to the U.S. in terms of its gold reserves. So China's flipping our debt for gold from the IMF, and who funds the IMF? We do. We do. So it's circular. It's circular again. So they don't have to have our debt. Number two, we are printing money. I don't care what anybody says. We have doubled the amount of cash out there. And everybody says, well, you're not seeing hyperinflation. You're not seeing it with the amount of cash out there. The interest rates are so low, nobody's putting that cash back into investments in the United States. But they are putting it into desperate countries in Europe. They're putting into other investments. And the money's going out there. So the second Bernanke raises the interest rates, all of a sudden the money sucks back into the United States. Okay. And the then third. we have hyperinflation. And the third one, and, real quick. And the third is production. The, the whole issue, we're not producing. Okay. All right. So. Come on over here. That's <laughs> what they said will never happen. Then all those things are happening. More on this that I think you need to know when we come back.